There is a war being waged by the March of Dimes, a war to fight premature birth and other infant health problems. Every year, more than a half million babies are born prematurely. More than 100,000 will suffer serious long-term consequences. 4,800 will die. Today, the March of Dimes is doing something about this American tragedy, and we need your help to prevent heartfelt situations like the Rentra family have had to endure. When he came in and began explaining the possible complications with such a micro preemie, I knew at that point our lives were gonna change. Um, I couldn't imagine uh, uh, an infant being born that soon without any issues. And when he was going over all of the possible issues uh, of, I, I, I can't even start to, to list the different, you know, uh, possibilities uh, of, of what could happen. Um, but I, again, I knew that, that, that things weren't going to be the same. And I, we just prayed that, that we'd have uh, a normal as possible baby, uh, considering what we're going through. At 28 weeks after an indecisive ultrasound, a life-altering decision was made by the doctor. And she said, we're taking him now. And I just remember crying and saying, no, you can't, you know, we can't do this. My husband's not here yet. Um, so I immediately called them and they were on their way. We arrived and um, basically just prayed until they took her. Um, we all just piled on my bed, my dad and Rich and I, and we just cried and said a prayer and they took me off. After a strenuous operation, baby Austin was successfully delivered premature. Uh, they had already put him on a little table, and uh, when I first saw him, I, <laughs> it was it was shocking, emotional. It was uh, I've never seen anything like it. He was he was so small and so fragile, and and but he was my son, and it was it was an amazing sight to see him. It when you know three months before we expected to see him. First time we got to hold him was at 34 days. He was on a ventilator for 34 days, so our hospital wouldn't allow us to hold him until he came off. And um, I'll never forget that day. It was we walked in and he, we just we just looked at each other and wanted to scream because it was the day was here. You know, I mean, yeah, I mean most moms and dads get to hold him right when they're born, and you know, he was taken from us. So it was just the most precious day to have him. Months after Austin was born, he was finally released into the care of his loving family. However, after an intensive medical exam, little Austin stopped breathing. I looked over at Austin, and the next thing I knew, he was blue. I instantly ran around the other side of the car, because Don was seated next to him in the back seat, uh, pulled him out, um, noticed that he was completely lifeless. Um, laid him down on the back seat uh, and immediately administered CPR. Um, that CPR training that we received in the NICU was priceless at that point. It was something that just kicked in, like, I need to get this, this kid breathing. I, I need to do what I have to do to get him breathing. Rich saved his son that day, and although there have been continued complications with Austin, nothing has measured up to the terrifying moments of the day that he stopped breathing. Today, Austin is in good health. He's just an awesome little boy that just loves life. He just is so full of energy, and um, he's just our pride and joy. And he loves to sit on my lap and, and just read and have me read to him. Uh, sometimes he'll try and read himself, um, or at least act like he's reading. Um, he loves words. He loves learning. The March of Dimes is inspired by all babies, those born healthy and those who need our help to survive. There are the millions of reasons why we are standing behind our urgent mission. You can give hope for healthy babies. You can help fund research. You can help fund vital programs. You can make a difference. Help fight for healthy babies. Give every Austin a chance.